Hi, this is Simon Chan, and welcome to my No BS, No Hype Network Marketing Training. Members of my mastermind coaching groups can ask me questions on a weekly basis. And today's question comes from a five-star mastermind member. She uh, has a great attitude, and uh, she knows the importance of avoiding negative people. Um, so she says, you know, when... You know, I've been uh, subscribed to Audible.com. I listen to two to three books a week, and that's awesome, by the way. Uh, I wasn't aware how much my mindset was in need of an overhaul. Now I've become a salmon at work. When it comes to negative speaking, trying to swim up the negative stream that's flowing down. I just don't want to hear the complaints and negativity anymore. When people start talking, like I tell them politely that I don't want to be involved. They ignore me and continue, or when I walk away, they call me back, even my supervisor. I try to interject the positive side of the situation uh, being discussed, but get swallowed up in complaints and criticism. The things being voiced are valid, but my goal is to see how I can be part of the solution and not of the problem. With my family, I'd be able to be firm and tell them that I would not participate and not drag me into negative con conversations, and I've been successful. Please give me a suggestion for how I can turn these workplace gripe sessions into something constructive. Do you think that is possible, or must I state my position and walk them away? Well, well. first of all, congratulations, you're listening to books. That's great. And you realize the importance of uh, being with positive people. So one thing is um, you can't change people. You can only change yourself, right? And you can, you know, these negative people, no matter what you're going to say, they're going to still have their opinion. So and, and our only limited uh, resource that we have in this world is not money, is not ideas, but time. And it's not good good use of your time and energy to try to convince them. So um, you're done well with your family. You just walk away. You state your, you state it politely. And I would do the same thing. Now, here's two tips. If people say that, uh, how come you can't? And, and again, so I wouldn't even um, I wouldn't even attempt to go there and give a positive uh, view. Okay, see them, get them to see the situation because you can't change people and you're wasting your time. It's just going to be very frustrating. Like you, like the way you sound right now, you sound very frustrating. So what can you do? For number one is, uh, I would just say I'm busy. So one of the things I worked out very well is I just stated, hey, I'm very busy right now. I have an appoint another appointment coming up. All right, I have another, I can't talk right now. I got to go. And, uh, and you know, you should have appointments lined up with prospects. Even if you have work, you don't, then make it an appointment with yourself where you have to do work. You got to go back there, maybe prepare for um, the meeting for this afternoon or go through emails, whatever. You have things to do because you want to get out of work as quickly as possible to build your business. So you just say, you know, um, if your supervisor calls you back, say, I got work to do. Well, you know, what work do you have to do? Well, I got to go through emails, got to go with projects. I'm planning for the next project. You can come up with something. Right now, when the the, th the second important point is when you appear busy, people actually start attracting attention, a positive attention. Think about it; it, it attracts people into the business. When you think of successful entrepreneurs, are they laid back and have all the time in the world to chit chat and be on the front of the coffee? Hey, think about your CEO, right? Are, are they like have time, relax, chit chatting at the coffee machine, talking about happy, or are they really, really busy all the time? Right? Chances are every successful person, they're extremely busy. Do they walk slowly down the hallways or they're in a quick pace? Okay, they, I'm sure they all walk very quickly. They have an agenda. And they're very focused. So and so if, by telling people you're busy, that's a positive thing. Now, the, the, you know, the people who are negative or they're never going to join your business or never going to contribute any value to your life, they may look down on you and they may criticize you. And actually, the be here's the thing. The more they criticize you, the better you are. You should be happy because that means you're doing something good, right? But by doing that, you attract positive people. Just, just think about that for a second. Any CEO you know, is any successful entrepreneurs do you know, do they have the time to chit chat or they're really always busy? I I'm sorry, I gotta go. They're always looking to watch, I gotta go. They're always planning the next meeting going, 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 right? So just by doing that, you are actually, and, and we talk about mindset, you gotta be before you become. So just by being that, you're actually starting to become like what the self-made millionaires are, which time is so valuable, they don't have time to chit chat. And uh, in terms of people looking at you, right? If you're such always thinking on business gotta go, it attracts people. People who are higher lid, who are, are you know more entrepreneurial, business minded, open ideas, they're attracted to busy people. They want to be like that. When you have all the time in the world, no one respects that, right? Um, 
So you find yourself getting better prospects too, and your downlines also will sense that, and they'll motivate them to pick up their businesses too. So in general, just think about the people you know successful. They're always operating at a quicker pace. They always got lots of things going on in the world, and uh, it's not like you know they're not sitting around on a coffee machine. So that's what I'll say. Hope this uh, hope that hip tips help. I would love for you to do that and let me give me some feedback. But remember. So think about any successful person, leader you know, and whether it's network marketing or outside or CEO, are they busy? Do they appear busy? And are they in a fast pace? Right. Especially in this economy, new economy, global, mobile economy, the quicker, the more urgent, the sense of urgency. It just it's a great it's a very important success habit, and you attract better people in your business. Again, this is Simon Chan. Thank you for watching my No BS, No Hype Network Marketing Training. And remember, we're in the profession to help others. So go out there and have a positive impact on someone's life today. God bless you all.